the agenda of this discussion first we are going to see about communication to, uh, topology you can see here uh, in uh, as in uh, usb system here also we have three separate layers this is the host side and this is a device side okay wireless usb host wireless usb device in host side we can separate the entire uh, usb or wireless usb system into three layers first layer which will sit at the top is client software layer under that we have usb system software layer and in the bottom we are having wireless usb host controller here we have the physical medium okay and then uh, here in the device side if you look at here we have uh, wsb bus interface at the bottom this is a uh, lower level layer and above this we are having wireless usb logical device this is known as a device layer and uh, above this uh, the uh, layer which is sits uh, at the top of this device side is function layer so totally we can divide this entire usb system into three layers what are all those three layers function, function layer device layer bus interface layer okay here they have shown that how the wired usb system is differing from wireless usb device here they are represented in very small triangles in these two layers we have very small changes okay but here in the uh, five side i mean uh, the layer which sits at the bottom in that side only we have very big changes in the wireless usb system compared to wired usb system okay the uh, so the changes in physical layer side more and uh, here they mentioned on uh, pipe like structure how the encrypted data is tra tra transmitting over this wireless medium and here one more ring they mentioned this represents the secure data is flowing over the uh, air okay now uh, here uh, we have one more uh, slide to indicate a wireless usb channel control sequence within mac layer reservation okay we know that here analog uh, signal will be there inside that analog signal will have so many super frame each super frame is made up of so many uh, slots media access slots some uh, so totally how many media access slots will be there in a single super frame 256 so some uh, slots will be grouped together and that is known as drp distribution reservation protocol okay that is one kind of reservation out of this 256 micro slots some uh, wireless usb application is reserving these slots okay so if you uh, go inside this drp we will have so many mmcs okay we know that mmc is the micro schedule management command it will tell that in the next coming time slot which device has to transmit which device has to receive in a single usb system you know that uh, we can connect maximum of 127 devices to a single host so it has to schedule that host will schedule and uh, it will tell that schedule in this micro schedule management so that during this period devices will send or receive data already say 127 yeah right uh, uh, that much connection we can take from this wire yeah wireless usb yeah we can take a single a single wireless usb host also can support maximum of 127 devices okay and what is difference between wireless usb and uh, bluetooth bluetooth yeah it's a uh, uh, very good question uh, the in uh, the basic uh, difference is in uh, Bluetooth, the power consumption will be high compared to this wireless USB. Okay, that is the main thing here. Uh, I think uh, maximum the power consumption in the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Here, the power consumption is five times lesser than Bluetooth. That is it. Okay. 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 Next, we are going to see about uh, wireless USB channel time. Some uh, uh, some mechanism is there to maintain the uh, channel time okay what uh, what is that means uh, it maintains a free running timer used by isochronous devices this wireless usb channel time i uh, as we have seen uh, that mmc's 
that mmc's uh, wireless usb channel time and all will come okay at what time uh, suppose host is sending a particular data for a particular device in that time but uh, there should be a synchronization between host and device right yeah. so it will tell at what time it is it was sending that data yeah. it has started that data it on uh, a particular time so based on that time device will synchronize its timer yeah. so they are telling here that thing maintains a free running timer used by isochronous devices directed backcounting devices etc used by isochronous devices uh, this channel time information mainly used by isochronous devices uh, isochronous devices example is if you are listening some audio okay uh, real uh, life uh, live live programs that and all we can say it uh, say it uh, and uh, say mm, uh, coming under uh, isochronous transfers then no requirements on a specific start value when the host starts usb channel usb channel time must not be affected by a changes in the host beacon start time so this usb channel time and all will come in mmc okay between each super frame in the uh, each super frame starting uh, period we will have beacon okay so in the in that beacon also we will have one timer beacon start timer so they are telling that uh, there is